today we're in Sage Town. We're gonna go for a walk around Sangak San, head to Sage Beach, and then go get some barbecue. Come along with us. So the walk that we're on now is about 3.2 kilometers a little bit more than two right about two miles and it's part of jeju ole trail 10 which is a lot longer but this is really family friendly bodhi actually loves it she was really excited to come today during the japanese occupation of jeju island starting in 1910 Man-made caves were built all over Songak San to help protect a military base that is right around the corner. This one right here is the largest one. Songak San is really famous around here, mainly for the beautiful views of the ocean as the trail kind of just goes all around the coast. But today it genuinely feels like every single person is here. It's really busy. We're at the second rest stop on the walk right now and this probably has the best views. You can see off in the distance Gapado and Merido Island, just smaller islands that are off the coast of Jeju. We've stopped here to give Bodhi a snack. She's done awesome so far. She's walked the entire way. No complaints. It is super windy, yeah, but it's still beautiful out. we did this hike Bodhi didn't manage to make it the entire way so so far we're about probably 80% of the way through she's doing good but she's getting a little bit tired right now she's loading her pockets up with rocks so I think she's actually making it more hard on herself more hard harder harder on herself As you can see, that's Dansan, what we hiked up a couple weeks ago. We will link the video right here if you want to go and have a look. We've made it, we finished. Bodhi walked the entire way with the rocks in her pocket, so she's pretty proud of herself. We're gonna head over to Sage Beach, check it out, and then go and get some food. Beach is probably the closest beach to our house and when we first came here it was nicknamed Trash Beach because in all of the typhoons loads of trash from the mainland and from Japan and even as far as the Philippines used to wash up on shore. Today it doesn't look too trashy. In the spring and summer and the fall you can occasionally get a little wave here but we don't really like to come here and go surfing because it's pretty rocky and on the days they're there is a wave. It has to be super, super windy and a bit crazy. Famous 
for pork barbecue, specifically black pork barbecue. There's restaurants all over the place, but this is actually our favorite place. Even though it's a bit of a cheat, the um, same guy every time we come here has always cooked our pork for us, but I'd rather personally have perfect meat than overcook it and burn it and like we normally do. So comment down below and let me know if you'd rather have someone else cook it for you or if you'd rather have like the true authentic experience. Best looking piece of pork. Fold it up. Shove it in your mouth. We're gonna leave you there. We're gonna enjoy our dinner and then get ready to go back to another week of work. At the end of the story. Let's see.